Hello, I am Brandon Mungia Torres. I'm Kaino Wasalito. And I'm Ray Kunan Jr. And we are the QB team who created a nano satellite for optical sensing for rendezvous proximity operation. We adopted an IFC 6640 single board per NASA's request so we can use the Android operating system. Uh, it's light based, so it's all optics. We have LiDAR and uh, near field and a far field camera. And we tested it on a six degree of freedom test bench. For the current market, we have six important factors to look at. We have rendezvous proximity operations, we have docking and docking system, we have autonomy, size, weight, and cost. The first alternative would be NASA docking system or NDS. This is not autonomous because it's piloted. It has a size of 80 centimeters with a diameter and a weight of 340 kilograms. It has no RPO system and it costs around $14 million. You have the NASA double asteroid redirection test or DART which it has autonomous space navigation, it has an RPO system, but it has no docking. The size is 180 by 190 by 260 centimeters at 363 kilograms, and it's around $110 million. And lastly, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, Orbital Express, which it has autonomous capability. It has docking and undocking system. It has an RPO system, and the size is 175 by 559 centimeters with the diameter and span, and its weight is 1,090 kilograms around $100 million in cost. So some of the common themes in the current market are one, they are very expensive, two, they are large, and three, they are very complicated systems, and fourth, uh, they don't have all of the capabilities that we need. So that's where our team comes in. So in order to create a CubeSat capable of rendezvous proximity operations and docking and undocking, we set out to use only commercial off-the-shelf components to tackle the issue of cost. Uh, we need to test the IFC 6640 single board computer to see if it is capable of the data processing necessary for optical imaging, object tracking, and motion control. We need to design a system to initiate docking and undocking via a signal. And we also need to fit this optical system within the 1U size constraint of 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So in order to do this, our group implemented a LiDAR and a motor through an Arduino for ease of use and ease of application. And it's also a lot more efficient than having a bunch of wires running through the CubeSat. Um, and in order to further combat the use, the uh, space consumption of wires, we designed a PCB, and this connects the motors and the LiDAR through one PCB. And the docking and undocking sequence is built into the same code as the LiDAR. So when the LiDAR senses that the CubeSat is close enough and aligned um, in order to initiate docking, it sends a signal to turn the motors. The camera modules are implemented on the IFC 6640 using a 41 pin ribbon cable supplied by the manufacturer. And these cameras are used uh, in conjunction with the gimbal where the cameras send data to the gimbal for movement computation. And the other thing we had to do with the IFC 6640 is flash it with Android 9. It came preloaded with Android 4, however, the uh, program was rather limited, so we ended up flashing it with Android 9, and it gave us all the capability we needed. So overall, we were able to successfully build QB and have it perform all the object, object tracking, optical imaging, and motion control, and we were able to effectively test all of these things off of UNLV's test platforms, as well as through the use of our own custom-designed PCB board that was on board, successfully completing the project. So for the running cost breakdown, although functionality is important, the device won't be preferable if it isn't cost effective. So like we said before, we're using commercial off-the-shelf products or COTS, which is a cheaper and more affordable way to build our project. So to list the items, we use IFC 6640, we have one of that, two IHC cameras, we have two LiDAR lights, one Arduino Uno, and one custom PCB, all totaling to be $843.67. And this is very cheap compared to our alternatives, which cost in the millions of dollars. For the future steps of our project, we want to be able to design the docking mechanism and the power electronic system, integrate the LiDAR on the IFC 6640 utilizing the I2C driver, increase the docking signal accuracy by performing more tests, source a metal supplier for the QB frame, fit all the electronics into the final QB design, and improve the user interface, including the object tracking and the LiDAR distance calculations, and lastly, calculate the final cost and measure the final weight of the QB. So in conclusion, we were able to get the IFC 6640 um, proved that it, it was powerful enough to completely power the QB to perform optical imaging, object tracking, and motion control. And because all these tags are important in rendezvous proximity operations, as well as docking and undocking procedures. Now we want to give a special acknowledgement to Dr. Sun, our advisory faculty, Dr. Greg, 
our course advisor, Daniel Valdez, our graduate advisor, and Molly Marks, the event coordinator, as well as the team who worked on this project.